Okie dokie, in this problem, they ask us to rewrite this expression in the form of a single logarithm. I know this looks insane, but let's talk about what to do. First thing to know is that this problem will use these log properties here. So they're log or natural log properties. I've written them in ln properties, natural log properties. So we have ln of a plus ln of b equals ln of a times b. And if we have ln of a minus ln of b, that's ln of a divided by b. And then if we have a coefficient in front of a natural log of x, we can rewrite that whole expression as ln of x to that a power, to that coefficient's power. So it's like we brought up a as the exponent of whatever is inside the natural log, okay? And we're actually going to use that property first in this problem. So our first step is any number you see out in front, we are going to bring it up as the exponent of whatever is inside the natural log. And when we do so with this first term, we're always going to leave that negative on the outside. And the reason is I have a little shortcut way of going about this problem. So leaving that negative on the outside is essential. And you'll see why in the next step here. So we bring up the 5 as the exponent of t squared minus 81. We keep going. We bring the 2 up as the exponent of t minus 9. And then the last term just stays as is, 11t over 2. Let me zoom in a little bit, sorry. 11t over 2. Goodness gracious. 11t over 2. This thing got too good of a zoom now. Okay. All right. So once we do that, we brought in the coefficients, and now we have a negative and a positive and a positive. So what we're going to do is identify the negative natural log the positive natural log and the positive natural log. The next step, in the next step, we will condense everything into a single natural log. And whichever LNs have the positive in front will tell us what we'll put in the numerator. So we're going to put t minus nine squared in the numerator because it has a positive, it had a positive LN out in front and then We'll put 11t over 2 in the numerator because it had a positive ln. And then these two terms are basically multiplied in the numerator there. Then, whichever ln has the negative, the first term, we will throw its insides into the denominator of the natural log. So we have successfully written all of these into a single logarithm like they asked us to. However, you're always going to be able to simplify it in this way. The denominator will always factor into two smaller factors. And the denominator will always be a difference of two squares. So in this case, we have t squared minus 81. t squared minus 81 can be factored into t plus 9 and t minus 9. And that'll always work out. It's always going to be a difference of two squares. It might be t squared minus 81. It might be t squared minus... 36, it might be t squared minus 25. It's always going to be difference of two perfect squares. So in our next step, we're going to rewrite this same log. But when doing so, we're going to factor the denominator into t plus 9 and t minus 9. So we factor t squared minus 81 into t plus 9, t minus 9. Since t squared minus 81 had a an exponent of 5, then both of these factors get exponents of 5, just like that. So now, how can we simplify? If we see t minus 9 squared on top and t minus 9 to the fifth on the bottom, we can cancel out as many as we can. So get rid of the 2 on top, get rid of 2 from the bottom, leaving us with 3 of them on the bottom. If we had 5 of them on the bottom, we get rid of 2, we're left with 3. So this is what we're left with. We're left with ln of... 11t over 2 in the numerator all over t plus 9 to the fifth times t minus 9 to the third. And what they will also do so that we don't have a fraction in the exponent, they're going to get rid of the 2 from the denominator of the exponent and really just throw it into the actual denominator. So they're going to have 11t on top and then the actual 2 on the bottom. So let's see if we can find that anywhere. 11t on top, 2 on the bottom, t minus 9 cubed on the bottom, t plus 9 to the fifth on the bottom, leaves us with option D. All right, that was example number one. Let's do one more example, and let's speed up 
the process a little bit and show you how fast we can knock these out. So first step, we're bringing up the coefficients as exponents and we're leaving out the negative when necessary. So negative ln of t squared minus nine to the third plus ln of seven t plus ln of t plus three to the fourth power. So we brought up the coefficients as exponents. And now we can write everything into a single natural log. Any terms that have the positive ln, we will write their insides up top. So 7t times t plus 3 to the fourth. And then any term that had the negative exponent, we will write their insides on the bottom. We now factor the denominator. t squared minus 9 is equivalent to t plus 3t minus 3. t plus 3 t minus 3, and since there was a 3 exponent originally, then both these exponents, both these factors, should get that. Well, that was a nice little glitch. You see that? It showed how t squared minus 9 factored into t plus 3 t minus 3. All right, so we have a t plus 3 to the 4th on top, t plus 3 to the 3rd on the bottom, so we get rid of as many as we can. If we get rid of 3 on top and bottom, it leaves us with 1 t plus 3 on top. So we are looking for a 7t, just a single t plus 3 on top, and then a t minus 3 cubed on the bottom, all inside of a natural log. So 7t, t plus 3, t minus 3 cubed. It looks like option C, and we're done. So hopefully the second example showed that it can be pretty fast once you get in the swing of it. Uh, if you have any questions, though, on this one, please let me know. And again, this problem assesses your understanding of these log properties.